that the interference effect stim- simply refers to any endurance aerobic, however you want to coin it, uh, any aerobic or endurance training induced attenuation of strength development. So if someone is performing strength and endurance or aerobic training within the same uh, regimen, the aerobic training induced inhibition of strength development when compared with performing strength training alone. So we're absolutely not saying you can't get stronger if you incorporate aerobic training methods in your training program. Like we know that's not true, don't we? However, in certain cases, the level of strength development you achieve will be lower than an individual who wasn't performing that additional aerobic training. People who like you saying online about it's a myth, it it doesn't happen. Like then I wouldn't say it's a myth, like it's it's not incorrect. But in terms of concurrent training studies, so studies that have examined um the interference effect and had a concurrent training condition and a strength training alone condition, about 40% of those studies report some form of interference characteristics. Okay, so 40% of study of training studies in concurrent on in that concurrent training design do report interference. So it's not a myth, it does happen. There's there's demonstrable uh, empirical evidence that it it can happen. But that also means 60% of studies who've investigated concurrent training in the interference effect have reported no interference whatsoever. 